I've been told I deserved everything that happened to me, that I'm stupid and selfish to want anything better in my life. My younger sisters told me I was going to go to hell. I told them I could draw a road map. I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. I could spend hours talking about what happened to me as a tiny two-year-old, various childhood traumas, being a teenage victim of domestic violence, mopping up my blood too often, living in fear every minute of every day. I was told I was lower than the earthworm, and I believed it. I was nothing more than property. That abusive marriage ended when I picked up my tiny five-pound baby off the floor and ran out the door with his diaper bag. I have a different life partner now. My son dearly loves the man he calls dad. We're married, but it's not a husband-wife relationship. Decades of his undiagnosed ADD left me in confusion, constant chaos, and a lifetime of being told I was crazy. Twice in my life I've been hospitalized for attempted suicide. I felt I couldn't even do that right. When COVID shut down the world in 2020, I was quite accustomed to being in isolation. Spring last year, I was watching the world, my home life, my family life. Everything was broken and there was nothing I could do to fix it. I was overwhelmed, overloaded, in despair, and had no hope. I was making plans for a suicide that would not fail. I even made arrangements for my little dog in the event that something unforeseen would happen to me in the midst of COVID. My big sister, Barbara, was helping feed families in her neighborhood throughout the COVID crisis. I saw a flyer online about the K2 food bank, and I told her. I'd not been out of my house for a very long time, and she insisted that I go with her. Reluctantly, I put on my face mask, and I went with her to K2. That day, I met Pastor Dave, and he prayed for me. I don't know why I got that flyer from the next door website. I live in the city in a crooked little house. God brought me to K True through the internet. Since that first day, I've been at church online every week. So often the messages have been very personal. I can feel the spirit of K2 in my house. It's warm and embracing. I've seen miracles happen in my life and I've wondered why. Maybe the answer is simple, so I can say that I have truly seen the hand of God in this world and in these troubled times. Since I've been involved with K2, I'm fighting to live. I have new hope. I've connected with the Life Together group. And by the grace of God, Derek and Jennifer are working to make it possible for much needed repairs to my neglected little house. I've been amazed at the glory 
goodness and mercy of God. He's blessed me by bringing me to K2 to help patch my wounded heart. I've not been forgotten. God holds me in his mighty hands. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. And my cry to him reached his ears. I thank God, and I thank K2. Amen.